This is meteorologist Jason Jordan at the National Weather Service in Lubbock with a winter weather briefing. This briefing was created Thursday evening, January the 1st, and is valid for 6 a.m. Friday, January the 2nd, through 6 a.m. Saturday, January the 3rd. We currently have two winter storm watches that are in effect. The first one is for the Rolling Plains, which is in effect from 6 a.m. Friday through 9 a.m. Saturday. The second is for all of the South Plains, which runs from 12 p.m. Friday through 9 a.m. Saturday. We've also gone ahead and highlighted the other winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and winter storm watches that are in effect for surrounding areas. Our reason for concern is that we expect to see a large area of precipitation develop across the rolling plains early Friday, and then a second area of precipitation move in from eastern New Mexico overnight Friday into Saturday morning. You're looking at an image of precipitation totals that run from noon to 6 p.m. on Friday. And you can see that the models are in very good agreement, although some differences in amounts for the heaviest precipitation to take place across the rolling plains. The reason that we're concerned is that temperature profiles across the rolling plains will favor freezing rain. This freezing rain will start early Friday morning and last through late Friday night. It will also start to spread westward and move onto the Cap Rock Friday afternoon. Precipitation here on the Cap Rock and onto the eastern South Plains will start off as a mix of freezing rain and snow transitioning more towards snow as we move into Friday night. The second area of concern will be an additional area of precipitation, all this snow that develops across eastern New Mexico and then spreads eastward into the South Plains late Friday night through early Saturday morning. Since temperatures are not expected to go above freezing, this will result in travel conditions becoming hazardous Friday afternoon through Friday evening and cause problems for motorists coming up 84 into Lubbock or trying to head east to the Metroplex or along 287 between Fort Worth and Amarillo. The impacts and timing for the rolling plains again we expect to see freezing rain and a sleet mix begin in the morning hours on Friday starting after 6 a.m. We expect the precipitation to start around Aspermont and spread northward towards Childress. The heaviest precipitation amounts will run in an axis from Aspermont to Paducah where up to one quarter of an inch of ice accumulations are possible. Locally moderate rates of precipitation will result in rapid accumulation of ice on surfaces and below freezing temperatures will keep roadways icy and slushy at least through Saturday afternoon. Now here closer to the South Plains we expect to see a mix of freezing rain and snow start to spread west afternoon from the rolling plains with additional precipitation developing after dark from west to east. The mix will transition to all snow around midnight Saturday morning with heaviest snowfall amounts starting Saturday through 6 a.m. Saturday. Accumulations of 2 to 4 inches of snow will be possible with some locally higher amounts. And again, because temperatures are going to be below freezing, we do expect icy conditions on area roadways. As we move through tonight into Friday morning, expect additional briefings to take place. And stay tuned for updates on our webpage, which is weather.gov slash Lubbock. We do encourage you to go ahead and check that your NOAA weather radio has a battery backup and that it is in working order because the accumulations of ice on power lines and tree limbs could result in power outages. Also follow us on our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube to stay tuned to see if there are any changes to the forecast as we move through Friday night into Saturday morning.